I am right now standing uh, in one of the structures at the Kira Vehicle Plant in Jinja, Industrial and uh, Business Park, where government has invested in uh, setting up a world-class uh, motor vehicle manufacturing facility with the initial product being the bus. Uh, where we are today, we have uh, set up over 22,000 square meters of production space and we are continuing to build on this to realize over 55,000 square meters that will support uh, operations like uh, machining, cutting, sewing, uh, painting, welding and fabrication, uh, chassis assembly and integration, electronics and electrical wiring of the vehicles as well as assembly in terms of the trim components and testing inspection and quality assurance of vehicles here. With a, an intervention of this nature as an investment we are seeing that over and beyond the factory which produces vehicles in Uganda which is a very important aspect considering that Uganda the second highest value on our import bill is vehicles annually and in the last decade we've been importing in excess of uh, half a million dollars in Uganda worth of vehicles and number one has always been the fuel which is about 1.3 billion US dollars which actually fuel is bought to uh, utilize the vehicles and when we talk about manufacture of parts Ugandans may be aware that uh, this is not very new in this country because we have companies like uh, Uganda Batteries Limited, which have been in operation since 1958, uh, making Okuzilale batteries which work as spare parts for our vehicle. And these are the aspects we see an opportunity for the business community to tap into, to see that uh, things like the aluminium components uh, for the frames of the window, the moldings in the bus, the bamboo boards for the floor, the wiring harnesses, a range of bolts and nuts, a range of formed uh, steel components on the bus, uh, the seats, uh, the seats have form and we have so many form manufacturing companies. They have leather, they have cloth, so we have so many people who can go into tailoring. So we are looking at uh, a platform that enables integration of a wide range of skills to create enterprise value. All the way from researchers that are as skilled as you could go to the peak of skilling, uh, and drilling down through the engineers, the economists, the financial planners, the project managers, business analysts, investment analysts, lawyers, uh, steel benders. Uh, we, we are talking people who are tailors. We are talking about software developers. Uh, and also at the front end, uh, feeding into the mobility ecosystem by providing not only drivers and operators, stewards, but also people who can be involved in servicing the vehicles once they are on the road. What we see is that uh, at maturity, this intervention has the potential of impacting over 300 small and medium enterprises along the value chain and providing opportunities for over 100,000 workers along the value chain working on different aspects of ensuring that uh, uh, a lot of content is import substituted to create more opportunities for the Ugandan, but also to provide ways of transforming our economy into the economy that we seek to see and to skin along deeper in uh, the value chains. Looking at the mobility industrial value chain and looking all the way from the upstream just up to the midstream, you're looking at raw material processing. If the raw material is steel, so you're getting the iron ore, you're processing it into steel, you're preparing it into the different components that are used either for the construction industry, furniture, consumer products, or even the bottle vehicle. When you see the door of a bus, on the door of a bus, you have glass, you have rubber, you have aluminum components, you have some electronics depending on the type of bus. So all of these aspects, and that's where we see manufacturing creating a quite rich and diverse platform. And as a nation, we are thinking right 
Now we need to put the necessary building blocks in place and Kira Motors Corporation and the plant here is one of those interventions which are joining others to ensure that we touch that opportunity presented through manufacturing knowledge-based services and goods. As Kira Motors Corporation, we have uh, designed and built the Kayola EVS, which is a premium electric city bus and moves 300 kilometers after charging, and then you can charge again, and this demonstrates our capacity to change mobility in our urban centers. But we have also designed and made the Kayola Coach, which is a long distance executive bus that can support you to move between cities and across borders. And we see that there is an opportunity in the community to come and partner with us, not only in making the components, but also buy the buses. Out of the city center noise, a peaceful mind rests in a quiet and serene environment. Caring, a great customer service, delicious, and a diet that never leaves you in doubt. Come again. Pinnacle Hotel, located on the northern bypass of Mara City, wishes you a safe journey and welcomes you to a quiet and relaxing environment. Believe me, it's not a lie. These feelings are real. Our love went supernatural. It went far.